YouTube so much that I'm getting dedicating four hundred dollars to y'all and a chance to not have a hair wig because a bad bitch is broke. <laughs> I'm really scared. Do y'all see the tears in my eyes? I'm gonna be so devastated. Get bundled stew, okay? What's up? What's up, YouTube? I am back, and today is the toughest video yet because this can be a four hundred dollar fail. Four hundred dollars going down into the trash. I am going to boil my lace frontal wig now it's this big thing going out where everyone is like boiling their bundles um they is making like these bundles come back to life i have my very own techniques to make my bundles come back to life but i want to share with you all today this a little bit of my technique mixed with something new okay so let me pull out this wig uh, where is the wig Oh, I, I see it. Hold on. This is a full lace wig, and it's getting old. So I'll be, um, I'm going to be getting a newer one. But I wanted to show you all this techniques that I use. Um, this new technique. So this is a full lace wig, and I'm scared. I've never been this scared before in my life. Pray for my wig. Y'all like this? If y'all like my little headband, I got this from Ulta. I get all my little stuff from Ulta. I love, I'm obsessed with Ulta. And my goal is to open me up a jazz beautiful hair and for it to have business um, tactics like Ulta and to sell pretty little things like this to you all. So I hope you all like this. Isn't it cute? <laughs> um, but this is my lace front too. It's gone. So you need something to cover that front. And you see my braids is in the back. This wig, this is the inside of it. Dun, 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 dun. This is a full lace. It has been bleached. This, it has not been combed out. This is um, 24 inches, so I'm just using like basic knowledge of what I know as a licensed cosmetologist. When you do your own hair, you shampoo it, or you deep condition it, or um, <clears throat> you're trying to put product or something on it, you always want your hair detangled first because it can start tangling up and matting, and you don't want that. So I don't want this wig to mat while in the bucket. I call it the bucket. While in the, the damn, damn, in the what? In the pot. We, but in this case, this is called frontal stew because, um, we about to throw the whole frontal in the damn pot. Just throw it in the pot, Jesus. So I'm going to throw this whole frontal in there. And the gag is, I don't have much time. I have somewhere to go. I have to go meet my boyfriend. No, I'm just playing. Not my boyfriend. I got to go see my friends. They're waiting on me. I love B. Simone. She funny as hell. Her and it's Frit is V. They funny as hell. So I need to get this wig together really quickly. Okay. Don't understand. I'll just detangle it just a little bit. It would be better for you to use a wide tooth comb, which is this, or to use a wig brush. So this is what we're working with now. A wide tooth comb. I will do another video on the technique on how I get this stuff off. I didn't take all of it off because I wanted to leave a little residue to see what the bundle, uh, what the, what is it called? Damn, what is this thing called? I wanted to leave a little of the residue to see what the frontal stew get it off too. So I wanted to see what it's going to do. The don'ts, the things that I don't want to have. My lace 
just shrivel up. My lace get any holes in it. I don't want it to get any holes in it. I don't want it to tangle. I don't want nothing to fall apart. I don't want it to pull it out and it has a bald spot in it. And if that happens, I'm gonna have to pull out a backup wig and still go to my friend event because he won't be here for long. Those are my concerns. What I do want to happen is I would like her to give life. I would like to use my new flat irons. I got some new flat irons and I'll do a video on that. Is um frontal stew. So bear with me. We're gonna pray over it. We're not gonna let, you know, we're gonna let the Lord take this into his hands. Like, please comment, please subscribe to my channel. I'm irritated. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Love you all. All right, so here is our pot for our bundles. And we're just gonna take this all soft by wrecking Mega. And we're just gonna, I wish I could tell y'all how much, but not much. Okay, I feel like that's enough. That looks so disgusting. And I'm gonna find something to mix this with in my, we'll use this spoon. So you're gonna mix it up. The water is really hot already. I'm gonna mix it until you don't see the white stuff anymore. And it smells so good. Do not eat it. Do not eat it. It's not real soup. But it smells great. Okay. It smells so good. I think I want to put a little bit more conditioner. I should have put the whole damn thing in there. Did all my wigs. But we're not going to do all that. We're going to just put a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. I added a little bit more. And it's all right. So it's all gone. This water is really, really, really hot. With this technique, I'm not going to actually let the water, the stove boil while I'm doing it. I'm going to boil it. Just like when you're cooking, you boil, get the boiling water, and then turn it down and reduce the heat. So this is boiling water. If I pour this on me right now, I will be back. Right the fuck up. And I'm going to turn the stove back on and let that boil while I shampoo the hair. Okay. All right, so this is the boiling water. You can see the steam coming from it. Just make sure you boil it all the way. And take your spoon and remix it so y'all can see the steam. I am so scared. After you, you don't want to mix, rinse your conditioner out. Just want to take your weave. And first, we're just going to start off by dipping it. I'm scared as hell. We're going to wait. I keep pulling it out just to be sure. It's not melting. I don't know what I'm expecting it to do. But I'm scared. So let's let's just let the wig sit for 10 minutes. We'll be back. Put the timer on. Alright, so here's the wig. It has been in there for I believe it's like 30 minutes. And I am going to go ahead and take her out. Now, the water is really hot, so I don't know how we're going to wring her, but here she is, and she seems A-OK. -okay.
this week is back to life back to reality back to life i'm not complete with my makeup and this lighting is kind of real terrible with this so you will see this finished look once i put the wig on this is the wig straight after i have boiled it and look at this lace this lace is clean for the guys look at that dear to my lace it's like fresh and new look at that you can see my eyeball through there so that is really clean and um off of the things that i said i didn't want to happen nothing really happened i see these clips came apart but they were clipped in here when i put it in the water so they just boiled their way apart the wig still looks the same size still snatched and nice you can see on this cup this coloration here is from the bleaching when i bleached it to lift the knot so that's what you see that discoloration so i'm about to blow dry um, I'm going to keep this part wet. I want it to air dry, so I'm going to keep that wet, and I'm not going to put any product on it. But I'm going to dry this out, and I'm going to keep this wet and let y'all know how the texture feels and how it goes throughout the day. I'll be back with a quick review. Thank you for watching. All right, you all. So as you see, I love my hair, and I really just wanted to get really close up on this lace because that's the best thing that happened from boiling my hair if you see this lace is so clean and i did press my hair using my croc flat irons and i'll do a video on that i love the way it came out i didn't use any product when blow drying it i didn't use any product with pressing it i just went ahead and allowed the hair to dry for 24 hours um air dry and then i went ahead and brushed it out um, with blow drying it and pressed it out with using my crocs Key things to remember when doing this boil for your full lace wig is to never, ever, ever, ever leave the eye on while your wig is in the water, okay? So you would like to boil the water to the highest temperature you can get it, allow the conditioner to sit within the water, mix it up really, really well, and then dip your wig in while the eye is off. Your eye should never be on while the wig is in the water. My hair bundles that I use for this video is Jazz Beautiful Hair Full Lace Wigs. It is 100% virgin hair. So be sure that your wig is 100% virgin hair before dipping your hair into the water. This hair came out so, so beautiful. Look at the shine. Look at the way it's flowing. When I flip my hair, honey, I loved it. Um, I was very afraid because I could have lost $400 out of doing this style, but it really, really, really gave my hair a good shine and a great condition. So this is a deep conditioning hair technique that you can use on your lace wigs, on your full lace wigs. Try it out. Comment below if it works for you. All right, so that is it for this Boil Full Lace project. This was really, really fun with you all. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Go ahead and click this video popping up here. This is an eyebrow tutorial again thank you for liking comment and subscribing and this is jazz beautiful hair